Good morning, hello, welcome to the Trial Fund on YouTube channel. Welcome, good morning, you're okay, how are you? Good. I'll just do it again. Good morning, hello, welcome to the Trial Fund on YouTube channel. Welcome to I'm on Cork 2022. If you're new around here, please do hit the subscribe button down below. I'm here today supporting my friend Tri Sai, otherwise known as Simon, on his first Ironman. Simon, let's do it, how are you feeling? Uh, okay, actually, yeah, more anxious yesterday. Yeah. Um, lousy sleep, less than three hours, mm -hmm. but that's what it is, isn't it? It is. You know, but yeah, yeah and, and looking forward to the mm -hmm. challenge and giving mm -hmm. it what I got, really. Exactly. Yeah, it's a great atmosphere. Everything has gone smooth this morning. Good. Good to have you here with me. Loving, yeah, to, loving, appreciate loving, it. loving being here. Simon's yeah. done a few holes, but it's his first full distance. And Simon came and supported me at Ironman Wales in 2019. So when he said he was doing this event, there was no way that I wasn't coming to watch him. So I look forward to a great day out. So great. Just said my emotional goodbyes to Simon. And it is a little bit emotional for me. I've known Simon years and seen him come on this journey and then culminate in his first Ironman. Brilliant. Really look forward to seeing how it goes. We're going to try and cover the race in general on this video. So I guess some footage of smaller competitors as well, but we're mainly going to be following Simon today. And I hope this video serves as good memories to you, Simon. And I hope if you're watching this, thinking of doing Ironman Cork, yeah, it persuades you to get that entry in. So yeah, let's uh, let's get cracking. About 10 minutes for the swim start. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, Ironman Which is the pro women's race start there. Look how crazy it is all near the start. You can't get anywhere near the wall. And that is absolutely brilliant. The level of support is incredible. Seeing people's families, friends and stuff. Awesome at that atmosphere. <laughs> We've seen everybody that was supporting go out onto the bike, which is excellent. The pro women out, pro women out first, followed by a lot of age group men. Uh, and with Tom Rigby, Tom, you might have seen yesterday, did quite well at the Cork 70.3. We were very close to each other at the start, and then when they said go, we weren't very close to each other. Uh, Tom actually won by a decent margin, so well done. Thank you. Did you enjoy the course? Loved it, absolutely brilliant. It's good being out today, there were no pressure, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to cheer everyone on, we're going to have yeah. a beer later. Exactly, good, yeah. So Tom, what's left for you um, on the calendar this year? It's a great for you in uh, Tenby in four weeks. We're, he's racing me again in Tenby. Can I make it one all? That's it, we don't have a mechanical. Yeah. So you swam, what time did you swim yesterday? Talk me through your stats yesterday, you swam. Uh, oh, 27.30ish, yeah. around there. Um, then the bike was 2.11 and run 1.20. Solid, awesome day out. Inspirational. Yeah, yeah it's good. Well done. All right, let's get out of there. So it's now about 20 to 10 in the morning. Simon has gone through 68k on the bike. He swam one hour and 12 minutes, which I think he'll be happy with. He wanted around 110, so I'm sure he'll be happy with that. Look forward to hearing how it went. Uh, it looks like he's moving on the bike about 34, 35k's an hour, so it's going well. I've missed the um, leading age group men and the pro women coming through Women Hill for the first time because I walked back to Simon's van for a nap, to be honest. These two days have really hit me hard. Um, and I've really underestimated how much walking is involved. It must be a mile and a half to two miles from Women Hill to where the van part it's quite far I've been walking about half an hour 40 minutes now 13 and a half thousand steps already done but I can't moan about how many steps I'm doing can I when people are doing an Ironman let's get on the hill and see how people are getting on this is looking absolutely bonkers just flick you around you can see how busy it is already this is only lap one
pretty much too loud on my climb to do any actual vlogging. So we've come to a cafe for about an hour or so where we've got some free time. Got some sandwiches, got some snacks, got some coffee to try and keep me awake, charging some stuff up, and then we're gonna get back out on the climb to see the leaders come back through, is the plan. Let's get out of there. Come on, George! Come on, George! 20 seconds! 20 seconds! Come on, Dan! Come on, Dan! About 1.30, come on, Dan! Come on, this is yours! Keep pushing! Liz, how hard is spectating? Ooh. Very difficult. So Simon has just flown up the second time that hill. He's not quite off the bike yet. He only transition at the top. We think he'll have done about 5.33 on the bike, which is far faster than he thought. He thought it'd be about six hours. So added to his swim of 1.12, puts him at about six hours and 52 minutes, something like that. that. Means if he can tap out a four hour marathon, it could be sub 11 hours, but it's a long way to go and he's never actually run a marathon. So we're not gonna claim that just yet. But he's a good runner, isn't he? Yeah. So when he runs a half distance, he tends to run in the low 130s. So we will see. And we were obviously shouting, Mumbo is looking awesome. So many awesome people as well. Some that are like, you know, perhaps really close to cut off, working really hard just to get around that first lap. Some that are right near the front. A lot of people in the top top 20 or so, like Dave Rucroft and Andrew, right up there in the 2025s. I was very close to Dave Rucroft at LRX last year. I think he's perhaps trained harder than I have in the last year. But there you go. Anyway, uh, we're going to go down into town now and see Simon on the run, as well as see what's happening in the leaders. So six women, six, the pro women, there's only a pro women's field, but all within two minutes of each other get off the bike. And then the top three age group men were all within about two minutes. So he's looking like both, you know, good races on both counts. There is also a rogue pro male who isn't on the live track a bit, who, who is on course, who is leading the men's races a few minutes ahead of the age group men. So I'm not entirely sure what happens with that, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Have a good day? Yeah, ready for some lunch now. Good. Got a sandwich to eat when we get down here. I'm ready for a nap. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> well, Simon, you're fourth in your age group, two minutes behind third. Oh, this one's for you, Simon. Every race I do, I just get videos of him eating ice creams. Mm -hmm. That's how it turns, isn't it? Oh, lovely, yeah. I know, lovely. <laughs> just a bit hot, isn't it? Just doing a nice cold ice cream to cool you down. Yeah. Um, anyway, so Simon has put in a great ride. He got on the bike 44th in his age group, which is 45 to 49, which is a very competitive age group. And he's got off the bike 4th in his age group, only two minutes behind third place in his age group. So, come on, Simon. He's never ran a marathon before, so we don't really know what's going to happen, but he's got a plan. He's going to stick to it, so let's go. Come on, Big Dave. Keep pushing, close it down, well done. Good one here. Oh, we're Ryan. Good running. Stick at it, buddy. Well done, buddy. Get on Ryan's feet, good work. Go on, Simone, keep tracking her down. 10 seconds if that, good work. Go on, keep her in sight, great running. Come on, George. Keep pushing, mate. Well done, good work. George is looking like he's struggling. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Come on, Simon. Looking awesome, mate. Keep ticking the miles off. Good work. Come on, Simon. Good. Good work. Good work. All the way. Great grip. Well done. Good work. This is the podium. Good work. Finish it off. Well done. I knew it was a mistake standing near the expo when Elizabeth has just walked out with a plastic bag in her hand, yep. looking distinctly broke. <laughs> what you bought, Elizabeth? So, Daniel's always taking my purple visor. I use it because it's a lucky charm for me. Okay, but I bought him his own, green and white, with some red on to go with the um, Icarus. Icarus colours, so yeah. I thought, yeah, that yeah. will look good when you've got your fish try suit on. Yeah, Outlaw, I love that. 
Probably you or the other one. I know. <laughs> I'm so on brand all the time. Through that, Laura. Anyway, you Come on and I got myself a support crew t-shirt. So I'm always support crew. <laughs> you might not always be support crew. You might be the athlete next year. How's about that? Well, I'm support crew if it involves swimming. <laughs> Oh man, the age group men's podium is really hotting up. Harrison Wood is running with, in, th well, in third and fourth place, neck and neck with the person in fourth. George Martindale's unfortunately really struggling. I'm not seeing him, he's gone backward through the field. Ironman is a tough event, it is a long way. Um, Dan McPartland second and Chris, somebody is first. Well, there's a decent gap in between both of those. So first and second looks pretty secure with about 10k to go. If Harrison can pull off a third place overall an Ironman. That is great. And um, with George going backwards through the field, that does also put Harrison first in his age group. So yeah, should be should be good. Very and, tight um, up. and what a good weekend for Tri Preston, obviously having the oh, first yeah, yeah. male winner yesterday and yeah. second place today. Yeah, awesome. Well done, Tri Preston. Not, not bad at all. And the one of the keep trying to sign me up. <laughs> uh, and in the women's race, Simone Mitchell's now in third. It's changed hands a few times to be honest, first, second and third. It's hard to keep track of, but it's basically I don't know how they pace it, because it looks like People surge to get a position and then somebody else surges past them. I don't understand it, but I don't understand it because I'm not a very good athlete, but I'm sure they know what they're doing. There's only about three minutes covering first to fourth, so see how it goes. They've also got about 10k to go. Great running. Oh. Keep bounding along, go on, keep pushing, mate, when it gets hard. Okay, so Simon's just gone past. He has ran 23.3k in i'm just tweaking slowly because i haven't got to start so two hours and four minutes he's on to run a 345 marathon if he holds his current pace which is awesome he's still fifth in his age group he's got three minutes ahead of sixth and he is about three minutes behind fourth so it's looking looking like he's pretty certain if he holds the same sort of pace he could be sort of around fifth in his age group which is absolutely incredible uh, liz what did you say a few minutes ago about this about this event what did you, say? you said Kind of reminds me of the time I ran a marathon. <laughs> this is what you said. <laughs> I'm only taking them in. <laughs> but you have run a marathon, haven't you? Yeah. And Simon hasn't, I've yet. got a t shirt. You've got a t shirt on as well, yeah. Good. Come on, Simon. Well done. Liz, just explain what just happened. <laughs> so, a little boy walked past with a horn, and obviously I'm sat quite low down. Yeah. And as he walked behind me, he just blew it straight in my ear. <laughs> he was laughing like he did it as well. <laughs> I didn't even pull him up to it. No. <laughs> Looking good, how are you doing? A little bit better than what it was. One more time. Toilet stop. Um, okay, yeah. Absolutely smashing the car. I don't know if you heard that, Simon said toilet stop. We were getting a bit worried, we hadn't seen him for a while. I looked on the tracker and his last split was he stopped for like 10 minutes or it was like 10 minutes slower. So that explains that. Maybe it wasn't quite 10 minutes, but um, when you do such a long event, digestion is going to be an issue at some point. You're eating and drinking so much. If you've not absolutely tested it or know exactly what you're going to eat and drink, something's going to happen at some point. It's got to go somewhere, hasn't it? So hopefully he's all right, but he said he's feeling better. Think it's all right? Yeah, feeling good. Good. I mean, it looks pretty bad, but you know, on a scale, on a scale of doing an Ironman. No, I mean, just physically in general. Last lap, Simon. Looking good. Come on, buddy. You've got this. Come on, Simon. Last lap. He's got this. Simon's now sixth in his age group, but only by six seconds. So fifth is six seconds ahead, and then seventh is a fair bit ahead. So it could all change. He could be fifth or sixth, but what an awesome performance from Simon. He's still got about 8K left to run, so we're not going to count the chickens before the hatch just yet. But we are going to go and get an ice cream, aren't we? Liz. 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 Ice cream time. Yeah, definitely. Come on then. Let's go. I'll never say no to an ice cream. Mm -hmm. Awesome mate, awesome. Good. <laughs> Get yourself in that 10. I went under 11. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, Absolutely man. incredible. Get yourself sat down in there, we'll see you in a bit. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Does he look after his water and that? Okay, so we're back at the accommodation. I'm going to hand you over to TriSide just to tell us a little bit about his day. We are going to cover an in-depth race review in tomorrow's video, so please do check that out, and I'll leave a link to it in the cards 
up above or down below if it is a long time after the race when you're watching this video. Simon. Hello. You okay? I'm I'm alive. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of the wheelchair, mm -hmm. which I wasn't in there too long, but I just needed a little bit of help after the race. I think, you know, a lot of, a lot of sun on me and obviously pushing myself to the limits. And I just, after the race, I had to, I sat down and you have that moment where you know, if you stand up, oh, you're going to fall back down. So, yeah, I just need a little bit of help. And then once I had some, some Pepsi and a couple of packs of Chris, so, um, you know, half hour later, I, I felt a bit recovered. But good. Oh, it's been an incredible day. Right what did you there. think to the course? Yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really impressed. Yeah, lovely bike course. Um, decent road surface, you know, a lot of rolling hills. The big hill, yeah, Windmill Hill, which I was... A, bit scared about mm. to be honest yesterday but then after going up the first time I thought well you Wally you know you can yeah. do it it's, and the atmosphere I mean mm. it's there for the crowd isn't it it mm. just makes it and and the support throughout that that bike course was obviously 56 mile two loops and the amount of people out in their gardens mm. with hose pipes spraying yeah. cold water and cheering you know elderly people sitting out in the sun for 12 hours throughout the day yeah. giving you a clap every yeah. time to everyone who went past it's just amazing mm -hmm. the irish really are good yeah. sports brilliant how about on the run course same again i reckon there must have been about a dozen hose pipes going <laughs> you know people on water meters but they don't care they're there mm -hmm. spraying everyone and and yeah. i tell you what that was such a big help today because yeah. that was hot not quite as hot as you had it yesterday but it was still pretty hot wasn't it yeah. and it just cools you down and then the support i mean the support through the town outside the pubs mm. i mean the roar the noise it's like being at a football match you know <laughs> so if you if you sort of threw your hands up in the air you know to, <laughs> to rouse them on a little bit and it, is, it just lifts you doesn't it it just gives you uh, that edge i mean you, you have a little burst of speed for that moment and then obviously it fizzles out quite quickly afterwards but um yeah i just found out i, I wouldn't hesitate to come back mm -hmm. good just, what was your overall time and positions then um 11 hours oh, sorry oh, 10 hours 55 was my overall time and six for my age group perfect so i was delighted and you were 50 that. something overall were you i don't know that i haven't was? looked at yeah i think right, you were actually. somewhere around there I was, I was okay, kind of, my big target, I thought if I could go under 11, yeah. I'd be over the moon. Yeah. You know, and I'd been happy if I hadn't, hadn't have done, but yeah, mm -hmm. to, to get that today, to nab it. And it's my first marathon, um, and I feel like I've done it, because I, <laughs> I feel absolutely wrecked. I really do. From the neck down, I mean, I've got chafing from the wetsuit, I've got sunburn. <laughs> My neck muscles are like iron, they like won't even move. <laughs> Quads, glutes hurt. Yeah. I've got a, a big toe that I can't even move. I've had the ice pack on, it's <laughs> just agony. Um, yeah, and lots of sore bits mm. and areas, yeah. Okay, um, yeah. awesome, right. Uh, I said right. then, we'll cover a more detailed like race report tomorrow, along with some other things potentially. But for the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, first of all. I hope this inspires you to, you don't need to do Ironman Cork but you know do an event do something that is going to push you a little bit out of your comfort zone but within the realms of enjoyment and, I think and train for it and train for it yeah as well and enjoy the Guinness afterwards <laughs> yeah. that was good cheers yeah, yeah. alright see you tomorrow <laughs>